If you're joining us for the first time, I recommend you take a step back and watch this video series starting with episode one. Hey everyone, JP Emanuel here, and we're still here at Haas Brew House with my fellow SolidWorks teammates, Brian, Mark, and Earl. And we've just finished the prep work, including items such as milling our grains, which ultimately means crush, crushing the grains to allow for more efficient extraction of the sugars in preparation for our next step, which is known as mashing. This is the step where our water and our grains come together to make our wort. Wort, spelt W-O-R-T, is the term we use for this liquid we have here with all of our grains soaking in it. We can't quite call it beer just yet. So Earl, I've got a question for you. It's my understanding that as we continue to mash the grains, we need to maintain a nominal temperature. Is that true? That's correct. So when you're working with the grains, you want to keep the temperature between 148 degrees and 156 degrees. If you go much higher, say 170 degrees or higher, you start to extract tannins, which are uh, flavors, just off flavors that you get in your beer. If you go too low, those beer, those flavors now get to a point where you're, instead of making uh, beer, you're making a thick oatmeal. Sounds interesting. So a quick explanation for our audience. Tannins are a bitter tasting substance that are found in our grains, such as the one we're using here in our kettle. And since this is a potential issue, can you explain um, how we're maintaining the temperature with the system we have behind us? The electric panel does more than just provide electricity to the, the heating elements. It actually has uh, temperature controllers that allow us to take the measurements off of the uh, kettles and adjust the temperature uh, at accordingly to maintain that temperature right in that ideal range. All right, so this cabinet does a lot more than simply provide power to our heating elements. It actually helps to control the temperature as well. So if we take a closer look at these, there's a decent amount of wiring that is attached to the back of these components. And one important step is making sure we wire everything up correctly. So in order to keep track of all these wires, we've gone ahead and created a new schematic for the internals of the cabinet. And one thing I wanted to do for this project is create a custom symbol for our temperature module. So there are basically two ways to go about creating a new symbol. The first method is by creating a new symbol from scratch opening up our symbols manager and selecting create new, which is essentially generating a new DWG file. And the second, more convenient and efficient way is to simply copy an existing symbol and customize it to our liking, or maybe even our company's standard. While editing our symbols, we need to decide what type of connection points we want to use, how we want our connection points to reside within that symbol, as well as all the various attributes we can choose from. It's marked the part number, part manufacturer, brief description, location information. These are just a few of the attributes that I can think of off the top of my head. Overall, it's a very easy task to accomplish. One of the great things about SolidWorks Electrical is that we only need to create this symbol once for it to be added to our library. And to top that, everyone on our team who also uses SolidWorks Electrical will have access to the same symbol, which means no more duplicate symbols or everyone having to create their own library, which in turn, helps to avoid confusion and promote better communication downstream. Now, I don't have time to cover everything about symbols here because I have to get back to making the work, but there are definitely several more tips and tricks that go into creating a symbol, which can be seen on mysolidworks.com. Simply search for Electric Brewery. Do you have an idea for a SolidWorks electrical how-to video? Post a comment and the team here will work on creating a valuable video for all of our users to take advantage of. If you're a fan of Twitter, you can follow me at SweetCat. That's S-W-E-C-A-D. So let's have some fun and continue this brewing venture. See you next time on Brewing with Electricity, the SolidWorks Brewery.